Hey everyone, it's Lisa here, back for part two of our two video series on how to create a Bitmoji movie if you do not have the program called iMovie. So a lot of people have been reaching out to me and asking me, so I figured that I would try to figure out a way to make one of these movies without, without using any kind of fancy software. So all you need for this is Google Slides, which is a free program, and an extension called Screencastify, which is up here in the right-hand corner. So if you missed part one of this video, uh, it just literally went over how to do your transitions and animations in Google Slides, how to make things move and make your slides transition in a nice looking way from slide to slide. So um, you can see if I click on one of my objects here and then I hit animate, you can see that all of my animations are already finished. So this part of the video, like I said, we're just gonna talk about Screencastify, so we don't need to worry about the animations. Now, if you don't have it downloaded, please make sure that you do that. Uh, once it pops up, right here, you're gonna see their options. You can just uh, record the browser tab that you're in. You can record the entire desktop screen. You can have a little webcam uh, screen of yourself pop up if you want. I'm also gonna make sure that these things are both turned off. I do not want my voice to go in this, this video, but when you are making yours, you may. If there's something you wanna say, you can do that. I just added little word bubbles over top of my head. This way I didn't have to worry about, again, using one of those fancier um, programs to add music or, or voice or anything, okay? So I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up, however, two things. One, there is a five minute limit with the free version of Screencastify. Also, once you hit the record button, it's not going to be, begin recording immediately, which is great because it gives you the opportunity to go up and quickly hit the present button so that it, uh, the presentation fills up your screen. You will hear a series of beeps before it actually begins recording live, and then it will begin. So here we go. Hear the beeping. And with this program here, I am um, going to have to click in between my slides because unlike Microsoft PowerPoint, it doesn't have the option to automatically transition from slide to slide. So you can program your objects to automatically transition. However, you cannot do that with the slides option. Here I am, I'm descending, I'm getting closer and closer to my job. Okay, counties and towns, I'm just trying to get through this quickly. Here we are. Okay, teachers are sad because we miss our students. But teachers know this too shall pass and we will all be together soon. Okay, that makes us happy. So for now, okay, and I just used a bunch of bitmojis to give a bunch of positive messages for my students. Be strong. And then my final slide. In the end, just remember we will all be together again soon. I think that's an important message that we need to send to our students. Okay, once you end your presentation, you want to quickly come up and hit the end button because it will continue to record until you hit the end button. Unfortunately, um, I'm also here going to um get the shareable link okay you can publish it straight to youtube you can put it straight to google classroom awesome options um i do have that copied and i'm going to paste it because it does take a minute so um like i said just make sure that you quickly go up to the top and you hit the stop record button because it will show you that the you know the outside the white part 
of the screen if you don't do so ahead of time. And you see here it says we're processing the video. I'm just going to hit download because I want you to see the finished product or at least part of it. And here it's popping up at the bottom. Um, so, I mean, if you do have one of those programs where you can crop videos on your phone, there are a bunch of free ones that aren't too difficult to use. You can always just cut that little end one out. You might even be able to put some music to it if you would like to. But like I said, for this, I really just kind of wanted to keep it simple. Um, and you'll see now I'm not clicking anymore. So it, it happens all automatically. The only thing I do suggest to you is that if you don't want to see the cursor, that you just use the 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 down arrows when you're going through your presentation. So this way you don't see the cursor keep popping up when you go to click from slide to slide. Okay, and here we go. This is the video and I'm just going to fast forward because it's a video which is beautiful because now we can do that. And here we go. And that's the end. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope it helps for those of you that do not have iMovie. Like I said, these don't come out quite as good, but I have to say that for free, they do come out really nice. I'm still really happy with my, my uh, Bitmoji movie. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below, send me a message. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks, everyone.